Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. Dark mode has become a common feature on most websites as well as mobile apps. And um, in Wizard Web Builder version 16, there is the dark mode extension, which you can actually include as part of your um, website features. So um, let's go ahead and then open Wizard Web Builder and take a look at how to go about using dark mode um, feature on it. So since it's an extension, you have to first install it from the extensions manager. So you click on the extensions manager under tools, and then you click on online gallery. That is all under online gallery. You search for the extension in here, you type dark mode, and then it's going to show you the extension. In my case, I already have it installed. So as you can see, that is it over here. I'm going to go ahead to close this and then search for it in the extension or the two box. So I'll click on dark mode and then I'll draw on an empty space on the canvas. After that, I will double click on it. And then there are a couple of options available in here. And the first one is auto match OS theme. So if your operating system by default, once it gets into the evening switches to dark mode, then this extension is going to automatically um, switch your web page or the web page to dark mode based on that. Now, you may not have so much control over this because based on individuals, operating system will determine what they are going to see. Then the next thing is background color. So you can change the background color for the page of the um, website uh, with a, um, the dark mode option here. And then also you have mixed color, which is going to blend with the white here. And then you have save in cookies. So once there's a save in cookies, um, anytime the page is being visited, it doesn't have to load entirely everything. It just loads from what has been saved from the cache and we have the transition. So if it is being switched from the current page view to dark mode, um, what's how long should the, tra the transition be? And then you have the Z index. So this is actually the position of this dark mode icon here, which is going to be positioned at the bottom right corner of the page. So we'll take a look at that shortly. And then we have the widget settings as well. So the bottom, so that's 32 pixels. So that will be the size of this icon, the dark mode. And then um, the onset where it's going to um, be positioned. That's the left position as well as the right position. And also we have the color of the dark mode icon itself. That is the widget itself over here. And you can choose to show the widget or hide the widget on the page. So if I leave it as a test now, and then I go ahead to preview this page, you notice that I have the dark mode icon here. When I even click on it, it changes the entire um, page to black or dark mode. And if I come back in here, and then change this to false. That's the last option. It is going to take away the um, dark mode icon here. So as you can see, and this is going to happen automatically once um, it gets to evening or based on the operating system or the team of the operating system, it is automatically going to switch to the dark mode option. So that is basically how to go about using the dark mode extension in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16.